the title is Dancing in a Black Hole. I don't know, I don't know, but I am in a black hole. There's nothing here, but I am here in many pieces. Soft air, I am light. I float freely, I am empty. I am oxygen, I am peace. I am silence, nothing holds me down. I am being cleansed, transformed, born again. I will cross the line, renewed, recharged. My name is Elizabeth Ibarra. I'm from Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico, and I'm based here in LA. What does a black hole mean to you? First of all, it's, I guess it's pretty scary to think about black holes. Like they say, everything that enters it, nothing comes out of it. By saying dancing in a black hole, it means like conquering my fear of black holes. Can you tell us about the character in your work? She seems to have the same hairdo. <laughs> Some people see it as hair, some people see it as horns, and it could be both because, you know, I am, I'm always uh, with braids, so like if I move, they could look like that. It is the character the same character in every piece? Or is it a different? I think it's maybe it's the same, but through different times. Some of them were created while I was pregnant and some of them after I delivered. So it's a pretty interesting uh, time frame, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Come. <laughs> Come. <laughs> this is my son, Monkey Boots. Ah, oh, he's cute. He's featured in some of the work, huh? Yeah, he's, I think, in three pieces. These tall ones, the five tall ones, I did while he was laying on the ground, like five months old. <laughs> yeah, so he was just watching me, just going, yeah. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about your sculpture work. They are called uh, Sunday Findings, because I found them on Sundays, and it's like, it just happened naturally, organically. I started, uh, going with my husband to golf. And of course, I, I wasn't playing golf. I was just walking with him and his friends. And I started finding interesting pieces of trees like that caught my eye. And I'd be like, oh, this looks so cool. And then I, I would take it with me home. And then I started collecting all these pieces. And they were like puzzles. So tell me about some of these. How did you decide to use color? These were all made in different times. So like these black ones, it was probably around the same time that I did all the other ones. And this red one, like this one and this one, I did at the end of 2021. So it's not like, related as much with the black theme like the other. And this is actually the only painting with oil in the whole show, this one right here. I love this paper and I wish I knew how to make paper. <laughs> what kind of paper is it? It's Japanese paper. There's a lot of Japanese paper in this show. Which was the hardest piece to make? Maybe the Sunday findings. Okay. The hardest part of those is like mounting them, like to be able to put them perfectly, center them and mount them and drill holes and all of that. I really like sculptures. I think I might take a, one of the Sunday findings home. Really? Yeah, yeah. We're gonna make them in, we're gonna make one in bronze. Oh, amazing. Oh, really yeah, I know, I really wanna see. My parts are coming back together anew. I am morphing into a creature I have never seen before. I found me a new life in a black hole. I am here in the unknown, waiting for you to jump in. Witness your arrival. I'll give you my eyes where all the light was placed. My sons that will mirror your face. That's the only way we will know we exist. Dance with me. I need you, you need me. I am you, you are me.